Hey everyone, welcome back to Pragmatic Works YouTube channel. My name is Amelia Roberts, and today we are going to be talking about the brand new agent builder within Microsoft 365. Now, this is a new feature that is available in Copilot Business Chat. If you are familiar with Copilot Business Chat, it is like having an AI assistant attached to your Microsoft ecosystem where you can ask questions about specific documents in your OneDrive or certain meetings from your teams, any emails from your Outlook, and it can track those down and provide answers to you in natural language. Now, the agent builder is within Business Chat in Copilot, and it allows you to create a custom agent right there in the Copilot platform using Copilot Studio. Now, you do not need to actually go into Copilot Studio to be able to do this. You can do it straight from Business Chat. It's almost like a kind of watered down, easier version of Copilot Studio if you just need something basic to create. But if you do wanna elevate it to another level by adding actions or adding topics to it, you can launch it into Copilot Studio to further customize it. Let's head over to Copilot Business Chat and let's make one. So here I have my Copilot chat up. You can see over on the right hand side that I have all of my previous chats and I have this new button here, create an agent. Let's go ahead and click on that and get started. It is going to launch a window that says Copilot Studio because it is utilizing Copilot Studio to create this agent. Now I'm gonna give you the scenario in which the agent we are going to build. I am a huge fan of the Fourth Wing book series. So we are going to create an agent for the Dragon Rider War College, Pazgayeth. And we're going to actually make it specifically for their marketing team because as a school, I'm sure they have some marketing strategies and some branding that they need to focus on to get people to come to their school. So I'm gonna create an agent specifically for the marketing team within this work college for them to access within their business chat. So this is what the interface will look like to start the creation of my agent. You can see on the left, I've got some templates that I can play with. I also have this area where Copilot is asking me some questions to go ahead and get my agent started. I am going to use Copilot for this one. If you do not want to use Copilot, you can switch to the configure section right next to describe and you can start to build out your agent there but you know me copilot queen I love to use copilot so I am just going to copy and paste really quick the prompt I am going to give copilot remember whenever you're prompting copilot the more you give it the better giving it something like a goal and context and expectations is a great way to get a final product that you really want for today's example, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple, but just know all your best practices when it comes to prompt writing and Copilot are going to be your best bet. So the prompt I came up with says, the name of the agent is Zayden. It should introduce the agent as a virtual assistant for Bizgayeth War College marketing team. It should offer clear and concise information about the college's company overview and use the user's name if provided to create a personalized experience. Ensure responses are consistent with the college's brand voice, which we will explain to Copilot here in a second. Let's give it that nice basic outline to kind of launch the process of creating our agent. We are gonna wait for Copilot to respond because right now it's actually already starting to build our agent. So I can, after that brief little introduction that I gave it, you can see on the right hand side, Zayden has appeared. It's already come up with some prompts that I can use. Um, and now Copilot is asking me for a little bit more information. It says, what should be emphasized or avoided in Zayden's response? I definitely just don't want it to talk about other schools or university. I want it to focus on my school. So I am going to say, avoid talking about other schools or universities. 
Notice, I also spelled universities wrong. Thankfully, Copilot's really good at understanding natural language and knows what I was trying to type. So how do you want Zayden to talk? If you've ever read the book Sporth Wing, he's a little bit cold, a little bit calculated, and typically pretty formal and professional. So I'm gonna go with that to just stay on brand with my school. All right, so I've put all of my prompts in. It's probably going to just ask if there's anything else I want to add. There is nothing else I want to tell Copilot necessarily to add, but I'm gonna go ahead and test my bot and see what it comes up with right now, just on the little bit I gave. So since we're working for the marketing department at Fizgayeth, I wanna ask about branding colors. So what are the brand colors. All right, so it is telling me that the primary colors are dark blue, gold, and white. That's actually not correct. And the reason it's giving me the incorrect information is because I have not given it a knowledge source to utilize for my agent to grab information from. So I'm going to head over to the configure toggle on the left-hand side here. And this is where I can add even more details to my bot. I can change the logo if I want to, which I might do that before I fully create and publish it. We will see. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says knowledge and you can see I can add a SharePoint URL, a SharePoint site in here if I want to. I actually wanna add a couple documents that are specific about our marketing and social media strategy for this school. So I'm going to hit browse. I'm going to head to my SharePoint and I'm going to find those documents. Now you can only upload certain documents. That is completely fine. I'm hoping they will expand this ability eventually into more types of documents. But here in my SharePoint, I have a company overview and I also have a social media strategy document that I would like to add to my Zayden marketing um, agent here. So I added both of those. You also have the option right here to toggle on web content. If you want to use something like a web URL or you want to give your copilot the ability to search the web, you can turn that on. You can't right now input a specific URL. It's only allowing me to do um, a URL of a SharePoint right now or find specific documents within a SharePoint. You can also find specific documents from within Teams as well, but you can open it up to web content. If we scroll down in our configure pane here, we have actions that are coming soon too. So you can launch right now into Copilot Studio and create agents with actions. So that's using the entire tool of Copilot Studio. Eventually we will see this ability here in just Copilot chat agents. But for now, you do need to use the entire Copilot Studio tool. I can give it capabilities like code interpreter and image generator. I'm gonna turn on image generator just because we are a marketing team. So I think some of my colleagues, they may want to do some image generation using AI. I'm gonna turn that on for them. If I scroll down even more, I have already created in here, Copilot created these for me, some starter prompts for my agent to provide. So this is what pops up immediately as soon as you open up this agent in Copilot chat. You're going to see these options. You can click on one of them and then it will lead to a prompt if you want. You can also add other starter prompts if you want to, if there are certain things you want in that chat to help guide your end users. Great idea right there. I'm gonna do one last scroll over this. So I can add an icon right here. I am not going to add one right now, but just take note of the size and the format in which it should be. Does need to be PNG, does need to be less than one. MB in size, you can change the background color because once you bring it in, it is going to look like this little square of a picture and then you change the background color as well. I'm gonna leave mine alone for now and I am gonna go ahead and hit 
create up here in the top right hand corner. And let's see our agent come to life and then we can actually test it out and see if it's linking to our knowledge sources and doing exactly what we want. So up has popped a pop-up that says your agent was created successfully. It's giving me a link here as well. Underneath that link, it says this link works only for me. So I can't share this out to other people. This is only going to show up in my Copilot chat. But if you want to share with other people, so say you make one for your organization and you work in HR and you want everybody to just be able to access this chat that's hooked up to the handbook so they can ask questions, go to change sharing settings. And then you can switch it to anyone in your organization, anyone you specifically have in a security group, or only you. I'm gonna keep this one to myself for this example. I don't think anybody else wants a marketing Dragon Rider school chat right now in their co-pilot, so let's keep this one to myself, and I'm gonna hit go to agent. And here is Zayden in all his glory. I can ask him now, I'm gonna ask him the same question I asked earlier since that information should be in one of those documents. I'm going to ask what are the brand colors? And notice it combed through my documents. It took a little bit longer than before. And now it is saying, very on brand information here. It's saying that the colors reflect the strength and resilience of our institution and our primary colors are dark red and gold, which is different than what we got before. It's even giving me the document in which this information is coming from. Now, I also had a social media marketing strategy document within there. I would like to test that one out as well in case I need to make any changes or add any more documents to get information I want. So I am going to say, what is the Facebook marketing strategy? And Zayden's coming back, giving me the Facebook marketing strategy, also referencing the social media strategy document that I put in there. Now, if I tested this bot out and it wasn't giving me the information I wanted, or I actually don't like the tone of voice that this talks in, I kind of want him to be maybe a little friendlier. Anyway, I want to make changes in some of the instructions and settings that I've already put in place. This part kind of tripped me up for a second. I couldn't quite figure out how to access it, so pay attention closely. A lot of people think, hey, I'm gonna go to these three dots. That's where I would edit it. Um, that's actually not it. If you want to pin your agent to your Copilot chat um, area, then you can hit this little pin. But if you want to make edits, you are going to go back into create an agent. So I'm gonna click create an agent. Up at the top, near where it says Copilot Studio, it says my Copilot agent. If you drop this down, you have the ability to view all agents and here they are for us. I can go into Zayden, which is this one right here, and I can edit it. I can hit that little pencil and everything in my configure section is going to pop back up for me to work with. So I can go back in here and change the tone of voice if I want to. I can add more documents or update documents if I want to. I can also just update those documents directly into SharePoint and I have the live connection already done. So. No need to update it directly on here. If you're going through SharePoint, you can just update it within SharePoint as well. And then once I make any changes to my agent, I need to hit update so that my agent is up to date with all of the information. It's kind of like hitting publish when you're in Copilot Studio and then my agent will be ready to go. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you want to learn more about Copilot Studio and all that it has to offer, because Copilot Studio is the full on extension of this chat, then head over to Pragmatic Works on demand learning platform. We have a few classes on there in regards to Copilot Studio. Also check out here on YouTube, my other video that is in regards to building intelligent agents using Copilot Studio. 
I hope you learned something here and I can't wait to see what agents you make and I will see you in the next one.